Groove Rider. Groove Rider. Groove Rider. <laughs> Groove Rider in session for Radio Groove One. Groove Rider in session for Radio One. Groove Rider. Groove Rider. L I V E Live, so keep it locked. Groove Rider. Groove Rider. Groove Rider. Groove Rider Radio One. In the zone with a great Groove Rider on Radio One. <laughs> We've got in session for Radio 1. Yo, yo, Groove, what's going on? What's going on? Todd Terry in the house, Groove Rider. At night that, make it happen, you know what I'm saying? Stop and hold inside the zone. 2 4 a.m. Griffin, as you know. Groove Rider in session for Radio 1. Keep it locked. In the zone with a great Groove Rider on Radio 1.
and welcome to another edition of the Drum and Bass Show here on Radio One. With yours truly, the Rider, aka Groove Rider. Gotta say many thanks to the mighty Tim Westwood. <sighs> Banging as per usual. Do you know you can catch part two of the UK rap show tomorrow night? Tomorrow night meaning Saturday night. Between nine and midnight. Tim starts to draw a little bit more R&B flavours as well as the top 10 at 10. You know, you got to tune in on a Wednesday, on a Friday, Saturday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, on a Saturday. Part one between 11 and 2 each and every Friday. That's the UK rap show. We change the page, switch the gear. to sound of drum and bass all the way through till 4 with yours truly. Now, on tonight's show, we're giving away the old, the premier old school jungle compilation competition. So is that we uh, giving away the old school jungle LP? It features 40 drum and bass classics, featuring uh, artists such as Shy Effect, Ray Keith. Uh, Zinc, DJ SS. We also got the, uh, well, the prime thing tonight, to be totally honest with you. We're supposed to be having a mix from uh, Dillinger and Lemon D. We're supposed to be. But we're not sure what's going to really happen tonight. So, because uh, they haven't actually turned up yet. So, we're not really sure what's going to happen. But hopefully, they'll be here soon and they'll be hitting the decks very soon. So, um,. Got to kind of stay tuned. Also, um, we're going to be doing your emails and shouts. We've got the best new music around, as per usual. That goes without saying. Also, we, we've got the six of the best gig guide. I haven't featured that in a few shows recently. We also have the Mighty Five Rollers. Who was at number one name last week, Andy? While I brush all through my pieces of paper, I may be able to find out. Hold on, singing. DJ Zinc. Yep, 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 see? You're right on it, Andy. You're right on it, sir. So, like, DJ Zinc was at number one last week. We present tense the EP on True Players. In about an hour's time, we're going to find out who holds the number one position for this week. Stop, hold, inside the zone. 2248 and riffing as you know. Move right in session for Radio 1, keep it locked. Sometimes your brain's gotta work pretty quick, Andy, so. Gotta get things in the right order. Out of Miami, one half, one half from the UK. This is Influx Data. This is something forthcoming on Formation Records. Back for more. in tonight with something from the usual suspects something entitled tribute gotta say many thanks to Keen for sending that one
Groove right in session for Radio 1.
Zone with a great groove rider on Radio 1. That's something from Dylan. Dylan's definitely got some uh, great new tunes on the block right now. Gotta say hi to Robin. Also to Loxley Inc. The whole lot. It's all good. Dylan's really hitting some form. That's something that will uh, be hitting our Mighty Five Rollers when it hits the streets. So like, we're going to be giving you details of a new show that we're going to be uh, just, you know, running over for a month. It's going to be taking place on a Thursday night. And we've got some real, real special things lined up in that show. Just for one, we're going to be having uh, Bad Company live. It's a bit of Beethoven in the background. Sorry, it's Tchaikovsky, actually. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. We're going to be having Bad Company in live from our Maid of Vale Studios. I'm not sure what the actual date of that's going to be, but it's, it's going to be part of that new Thursday night shout. A lot of great things. We're going to probably be having a, a mix from DJ Craze featured in that show. And he's been banging on about it all day. He's bloody doing me in <sighs> Bloody DJ Craze. <laughs> so, like, we're going to be hitting that DJ Craze mix. I think that's going to happen in that new Thursday night slot. A lot of different things are going to be happening. Myself, Fabio, between 10 and 12. When does it kick off? Have well, I got it in front of me somewhere? Right, so starting March the 16th, for one month, we're going to be stepping in for John Peel as he takes a well-earned holiday. It's going to kick between 10 and midnight. You'll have myself and Fabio showcasing the very best in D&B, as per usual. That goes without saying. We're going to get a little bit eclectic as well in that show, I think. Some different things are going to be drawing. I'm going to give you some more details about that straight after this.
Groove Riding Session for Radio 1.
masterful Peche alongside Flytronics. The drum and bass are killer. What I need. Go say hi to Pesh. Guy's been through the wars over the years. A few illnesses have been trying to hold him back, but you know, always proving that nothing can hold him back. Nothing and nobody. Gotta say hi to the mighty DJ SS. Watch out for the new LP landing very, very soon. It's a Formation Classics album. Featuring loads and loads and loads of the uh, the old tunes remixed. Gotta say hi to Idris. Always complaining that I don't check him when I'm on the, on, on the airwaves. So, Iggy, there you go. Also to Tanya over at UMC. All the boys, Shy FX, Navigator, Swift, Ray Keith, you know, all the boys. So in about 10 to 15 minutes, we're going to hit the Mighty Five Rollers. Then we're going to get Dillinger alongside Lemon D. We're going to be talking to those guys and uh, playing some new tunes. So stay tuned, stay locked. It's Radio 1 here with Ryder. <laughs> and no music, but <laughs> we'll sort that out. <laughs> I forgot I loaded up the CDs, man. No big thing. Live radio. Here's fresh out of bad company.
Tartarian Radio 1, doing this thing live, you know what I'm saying? Knock it out, knock them out the box. Here's another exclusive, another exclusive, another exclusive. Cruise Rider World Exclusive. Exclusive, 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 cruise rider, world exclusive. Here's another exclusive, another exclusive, another exclusive, Cruise Rider World Exclusive. Thank you. 
something forthcoming from the new Accidental Heroes LP, due to be released on Infrared Records. The album is actually called The Stars Are Destination. As for that tune, I have no idea. But one out of two isn't bad. Not for me, anyway. Got to say hi to all the guys. Sonic Silver. Also, J Magic. Also, a big hello to Brendan over there in Liverpool. Everything over the Lab- Labato is going okay. Storming little gaff that is. It's good to see people over in Liverpool uh, not just thinking about cream and you know all this kind of camp house things. <laughs> to me, they camp anyway. <laughs> I don't know if that's really the right word to use. Well, for me it is because I'm I'm hardcore. So um, yeah, to me it's a bit gay over there. I don't business. I'll say it. I'll say, I'll say it to anybody. Anyway, let's move on. It's the Mighty Five. Time for the Mighty Five Rollers. Stop. Hold inside the zone. 224 AM. Riffing as you know. <laughs> Move right in session for Radio 1. Keep it locked. Five mighty rollers. Mighty rollers. Mighty. Number five. So on this week's Mighty Five Rollers, there's two new entries. And down one place to number five, it's the Q project with sticky fingers on crash recordings. Two new entries at number four, the storming LP from uh, Renegade Hardware, The Harder They Come, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Second of our new entries at number three for Hero, Marcus Intellect's remix of 9x9 Nine Nine on Reinforced Records.
number two, down one place, DJ Zinc with the present 10 TP on True Players. Mighty Rollers, Mighty Rollers. Track Mighty Rewind. Rollers. So at number five, Q Project with Sticky Fingers on Crash Recording. Track Rewind. At number four, The Harder They Come, Volumes 1, 2, 3, 4. How many there is? Renegade Hardware. Track Rewind. Four Hero, The Marcus Intellects Remix, 9x9 nine nine on Reinforced. Track Rewind. Last week's number one at two drops to number two, DJ Zinc with the present tense EP on True Players. Fight Mighty Rollers. Mighty Rollers. Mighty Rollers. Number one. Number one. Last week's number two up one place to number one, Total Science presents the Sector EP on Advanced Records. I say many thanks to all shops who compiled this week's chart. Boogie Times in Romford, Chemical Records in Cheltenham, Massive Records in Oxford, Black Market Records in London, and Eastern Block Records in Manchester.
Her title science at number one. This week's Mighty Five Rollers. Do remember you can catch another instalment of the Mighty Five next week between two and four with Fabio. Here's another exclusive. Here's another exclusive. Here's another exclusive. Groove Rider World Exclusive. You gotta stop banging about in the studio, sir. <laughs> Now, for an artist, for this world exclusive, it probably is exclusive to a lot of people if you weren't around in 1990. For me, this is one of the seminal drum and bass records. Check this out.
one of the seminal tunes, one of the tree tunes, one of the tunes that brought us here today. On Atmosphere Records, that's the revelation. You know, just a little bit of nostalgia for a change. Move right in session for Radio 1. Yeah, man, let's travel with a second. Blaze it everywhere. It ain't too loud. Uh, 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 you people ain't heard bass before. I keep telling her. It's the right level to me anyway. I prefer to feel it in my chest than to not feel it. You know what I mean? Leeds, Winstick, Birmingham, Winstick, Bristol, have to rinse it. Stop. Riffing as you know. promised earlier, we have two world-renowned producers in with us tonight. Now, he didn't bring his mix, but I'm going to hold him to it and he's going to have to do it. The both of you. I have to up the stakes now. So you might know them from Valve Records, 
One half of this duo just released an LP on London Records. You know them from the Valve Sound System. Please welcome Lemon D and the mighty Dillinger. Good evening, chaps. Alright, man. What's up? Big bad bass. <laughs> 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 ah, I see the Jack Daniels has really gone to you today. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Little JD, loosen it all it's up. All lovely. Hold on. How, how are you feeling the headphones right now? Are you are kind of cool with the volume? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right, man. Yourself, sir? Yeah. It's all um, tidy. Yeah. So what's happening anyway? I mean, well, like, Carla talked to you, like, what was it, four or five months ago, just before yeah, the sound yeah, system was just yeah. about to hit the streets? We're just built, you know, you know, still building the set, man. Still, still building. Still growing and growing. Yeah, yeah. We're just hurting everyone with it at the moment. Do you know what I mean? Mm, mm, mm. It's getting nastier and nastier and people are just getting Well, hurt. you've been growling out the whole of Brixton for about six months now. <laughs> yeah. So how's it been going? Anyway, Lemon, first time you've been in the studio. Thanks for joining yeah, us, man. What's been happening, man? I haven't seen you for like... I mean, I've been seeing you like at the nights and all that, yeah, but yeah. I haven't really seen you for about a year. No, year no one's seen me, man. No one's what's seen that, me. What's been happening, dog? Grafting. That's it, basically. Grafting on what? Basically. Where is this album that we've been waiting for for about five years? Why has it been taking you so long? <laughs> There's no shush. I want to know where this thing... Because you have to remember, yeah. we're waiting for this. You've got to remember... Yeah, it's going to come, we're but, you know, there's this. a lot of things... It's... Don't let me get over there and start slapping the place down. Or, Why or... are we waiting for this album for so long? Because... Because I've been hearing pieces. And, and they might come hurt. and they might not come. But, you know, at the end of the day, I've just got to get my shit together. Oh. No, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's cool. Okay, In cool. the zone but, with a great, great but, <laughs> 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 A bit delayed on that one. But, yeah, I'm just getting it together. And there's a few things that, you know how this scene is. Things go up and down. And at the end of the day, it's like, you see how things progress. And... I'm not one sort. I'm not sort of person just to just jump into things. Yeah, and it's well, also you do it, obviously not. Yeah. Well, there you go. But then you've got the album situation, which is there. And it's, I mean, like, like from my experience, making an album ain't an easy thing. It ain't easy at all. It, it ain't easy, man. But also, I do it. I always watch the scene. Do you know what I mean? And I, when I talk to Carl and that, it's like we're doing what we got to do, and some that does take priority. Yeah, definitely, definitely. At the end of the day, you can make an album, and it's like. So you, when you mean taking priority, you mean as as in the case of the valves, yeah, like man. the record and the sound system yeah, yeah, is kind yeah, of yeah, taking yeah, priority yeah. on I the just, LP. Uh, at the end of the day, I might not speak to everyone, and you know, at at, at certain times and that, but yeah. me and Carl talk all the time, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just like it comes to the decision where we just thought, look, at the end of the day, we have got to do what we got to do. Then I think it'd be yeah, better. You got to build a situation. Yeah, that's build a worth situation. Then bring out an album. album. Yeah, just bring out an album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for the sake of it, doesn't make sense. You've got to have a concept behind yeah, the whole thing. Again, yeah, yeah. And Card released his album, and yeah. so that kept it kind of. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Because, like, yeah, just let us you know, it's it. like you two are like always together, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, any scenario, music. you it's get what music, I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. And, and did you two kind of meet up anyway? I've always kind of wanted to ask you that question. Because right, I remember you from back kind of hanging with Jay Magic. Yeah. So I don't know how you got to that situation, <laughs> kind of getting with Dillinger. Dilly, right, okay then. I'm not saying in a bad way. No, 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 no. Obviously not. Of course not. Jay's cool. What I'm trying to say is that basically, um, uh, I, I was DJing on a radio station that's how I met Jay yeah and then I was like bopping around records that, uh, re- uh, record uh, shops and stuff yeah yeah. and I uh, bumped into Clarky at the time Clarky was working there and at the time I didn't have no equipment so I just hold on I'll tell you what you need to get your yeah that's yeah, the, no, yeah, that's the one yeah, oh, right. here we go. we're going in stereo yeah. now alright that's the one there <laughs> fucking <laughs> let's, let's calm down let's what, get mono. street boys from it no <laughs> So basically, slime. Yeah. yeah. Right. So basically, yeah, I um, uh, met Clarky from yeah. Black Market. So I was yeah, yeah, yeah. Making some tunes for an engineer. I didn't have my own equipment. Didn't know what was going on. Yeah. And Carl basically had like a few basic bits. Yeah. Dean said that there's a guy that's uh, engineering and whatnot, and hook up with him. You know, back in them days, it was raw. Do you know what I'm saying? Just, just go where we could. So I just bopped him with Carl, and we just kind of like. You're trying to, you know, you just got on and yeah, a lot yeah. of um, got a vibe together. Yeah, that's it, yeah. basically. And you just be running. It's hard, at, yeah. At them days as well, it's hard finding the same sort of people that are in the same interests. Yeah, definitely. A lot of men was just sort of like, yeah, 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 whatever. And yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. But right. me and Carl kind of like clicked, clicked. because yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of got like you know mm-hmm. the same kind of goals mm-hmm. in life and that. But you know, and it, it progressed from there. Ten years so later. Like, ten wow. years down the road, how do you two feel that the music has changed? I kind of realised that at the end of the day, with the music. It's always going to change. New people are going to come up. When I was like 21, 18, 19, 21, you never thought that you're going to get older. Yeah. And kids are going to come through and make music and da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Truly, truly, truly. And, th- and things change. It's like an all four year cycle. You know what I'm saying? It's like when we yeah, signed our album deals. 
We've been through the whole flip. Yeah, we've been through the whole thing. Whole flavors, all the different types of influences. Because these two guys have been making music music for a good amount, a good amount of years, and (laughs) (laughs) brother. That weren't me, mate. That was Stuart. Stuart's trying to phone get through on the hotline. <laughs> well, you've got some late night stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, we're mastering the Valve album tonight, man. Okay, okay. So, whose CD is this? It's my CD, man. Okay, then. Get dirty. So, <laughs> what's that about? What's what about? Get dirty, man. We're going to play a tune. It's just a Get dirty. It's one of your yeah, Lemon yeah, yeah, yeah. D from Lemon Wait, D. Well, let's get back to this album situation. It's just like basically last year, decided to. Uh, Obviously, we've been talking for a lot. We were going to do a Valve album and whatnot. Yeah. But we've been building a situation. Yeah. We've been building a sound system. Basically, basically, we've been uh, building offices, studios. Yeah. It's right. a so long you know, process. And, you, you know. You've got to be careful not to get lost in all of that and forget about what you're really supposed exactly. to be doing. Okay. But Music. we need a bass. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it's like, you know, and the day, if you look at our... You need a headquarters, look, man. Yeah, if you look yeah. at what we've done over the last 10 years, we've been on lots of different labels. Yeah. We haven't really concentrated on our own label. No, no, we no. Took, we just got to the grips where we thought, look... Handing tunes out like sweets, it's not on really. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You yeah. do that when you're young, but when you get a bit wiser, you realise, right, I need I'm to build my own situation. That's what I'm trying to say, Put man. out my own tunes and just do all this whole thing And you need a bass. You can't do it from your flat. And I did, as you well know, we was working from our from yeah, where yeah, we were yeah, living. Yeah, it yeah. didn't work, and we just thought, look, it's gonna take two or three years. Let's build a situation up, which we've done, mm. and uh, invest the money from like you know whatever, whatever, yeah, music and whatever, and just uh, well, it ain't no black market stuff I hope anyway. But no, 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 no well, there you go. <laughs> whatever. Well, no, we sold Sounds our houses. To me, no, mate. well, you know, we, you know us. We're <laughs> soldiers, ain't we? We sold our houses. <laughs> yeah, basically, but you know, but what you've gone right in basically. Warehouse. Yeah, they, basically, that's so it. So how is the unit actually coming along now? Is it all kind of yeah? A couple of weeks from completion, man. Yeah. I really Studios yeah. are nearly oh, that's done. Great news, the office is nearly news. done. The whole thing's just coming together. So have you got a team of staff like so yeah, you're really yeah, gonna yeah, go yeah. for it now? Yeah, there's people on the payroll right now, yeah, man. Yeah, so you're really, really gonna go for it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Try and find a few new as you well know. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to find an artist out there in this drum and bass scene. <laughs> but fresh new artists, man, is, is oh god. There are, artists, but you know what artists. it is? There's just, there's a lot there's a lot of artists that in my in, from my angle anyway, like I get a lot of stuff and <clears throat> there's a lot of people with potential. Do you get what I'm saying? But mm. you need to bring them in. What it is, you need to bring them in. You need to nurture them. That's what I'm trying to say. Because they're not one tune. We all make crap tunes. I'm not being always, funny. We always, all, always, you know, always. Everybody's you know, got to make something. Because you've got to yeah, remember, yeah, everybody's got yeah. to. We're always learning at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, we if you're make... not learning anymore, then you've got to get, come out of the game. That's, that's right. what I'm trying to tell you. And you've got to bring them in, nurture them, show them what's going on. Mm. And hopefully they'll start making, get the confidence and start making music. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You can't do that if you're in your flat. Yeah. So that's why we've built what we've got. You know what I'm saying? That's why we built a new label. Called just Beats, which is like a label that people can release, new artists can release stuff Oh, so on. you started another yeah, new label? Yeah, because yeah. We've done the same sort of idea with but Test. You know that, yeah, Test, yeah. Yeah, but it Blew got up. to the label where people were just looking at big tunes all the time from Test. And we was like, oh my God, it so got to that stage again. That that's gonna happen I don't care if something sells for 500 on, on this new yeah. label. It's yeah, about yeah. growing and giving the artists the, com- you know, the confidence yeah, yeah, yeah. to just yeah. release music. And oh, bloody hell, people, 500 people have actually bought this tune from me and feel yeah, good yeah. about it and make more new stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. You know definitely. Saying? So it's not a really, it's not a business kind of scheme. It's no, not something, no. it's your personal. Yeah. That's how, that is exactly how I started Prototype Recordings, mm, man. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? That's what it was built on. It's just like, my things, you know what I'm saying? Mm, my things yeah. that I just, I like. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Not like a, a corporate thing where I'm releasing records to make money and yeah, to keep the yeah, red label yeah. turning over. That's right. When you get out of that concept, that's when the best music starts to flow. Of course it is. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But we're going to play a tune now. Let's get, what is it? Get, get, get Dirty. Dirty. It's on uh, the Valve album, forthcoming in April. Yeah, well, let me say something. That first tune that you just played. Yeah. It's from the Valve album as well. What's it's that called? Like, Ain't too loud. It's an absolute. You know, you can hear from yeah, yeah, it's yeah. absolutely nasty. Yeah, yeah. Well, we know. We know it's all about bashing you. up the dance floor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You plug, 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 yeah, plug. Yeah, plug, 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 plug. Where's mine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of laughing going on, but I don't see no tune. <laughs> right, let's play get dirty. In the zone with a great groove rider on Radio One.
Valve LP, that's something from Lemon D entitled Get Dirty. What's the actual album called, Les? Big Bad Bass. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> and um, when it's actually being released in April, did you say? Yeah, yeah, sometime in April. So, like, there's going to be some test presses yeah, about pretty everything's soon. Everything's going to be mailed out very shortly, and all the promos and posters and the whole thing's going to be done on the whole. So, we're going to see, be seeing your two mugs. Yeah, all everywhere, and all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start with that mugs, mate. <laughs> so, like, apart from the UK, um, where do you feel it's really kind of taking off from uh, in the drum and bass kind of arena? I know well, I just, just come back from Canada, Canada, mate. Yeah, yeah I was about yeah, to say oh, it. Was it was fucking... <laughs> <laughs> It was nasty over there, Groove. 3,000 people. Groove, what did I, sorry, yeah. what did I tell you earlier? <laughs> he just proved it, man. Thank you. Thank well, you. how can I explain it, man? Do you know what I mean? It's, it was lashing over there. Canada is smacking right now. <laughs> Where did you go? Toronto? Yeah, Toronto. It's always been smacking over there, though, Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I kind right. of find that America's kind of funny. Certain places. I can't feel America because of the breakdancing thing. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm not into that ring. Did you have that when you go over there? Like, people, like, get in a ring and start doing all... No, no, no. It wasn't none of that on... All that. But yeah. you've been there obviously a lot more, lot yeah, more than we yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, you know Washington, lot. if you go to the Buzz Club in Washington, that's a seminal place. It's been on that, your back vibe, yeah. Oh, please, and they're not even and any good. Freeze. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like, yeah. Let me get off. Let me take these headphones off. And let me really show you something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know right. what I mean? That's what I'm kind of feeling. No, like. but Toronto, yeah, Toronto is lashing, man. I'll tell you now. Yeah, 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 definitely. Like even Canada. the set was lashing. It was all good. Mm. Got to totally agree with that, man. Because like I've been out there a few times myself, man. Definitely know what you're talking about, man. Mm-hmm. I went to one little underground thing, little 500 people thing, and like, what was it like? I can't even explain a club in the UK, which it was like, man. It was so like live. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. I don't know, man. 
What is wrong with you two in these mobile phones? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not used to this, this live, you know, this studio environment. I'm going to turn of. it off right now. It's done, it's done, it's done. Shit, look. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, just one for luck, yeah? <laughs> so, so how's the valve sound system actually been going? I know you've been doing it's growing, it's around the country growing and, and all it's growing. that. Mm. We've been lashing it everywhere. I mean, it's, it's, it's a good experience when we take the setting somewhere and we switch it on and then they start coming in the venue, like yeah, the ravers. Works. <laughs> and their faces, as soon as yeah. they feel the bass pounding down their chests, yeah. you can see it on their face, they're like holding their hearts and like, yeah, well, it's heavy, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's groove, like, it's groove. It's, they, it's so, they, they'd never, yeah. remember these, a lot of these kids have never felt bass before. Yeah, no, no, We have, because we've grown up through the 80s. Yeah, yeah, no true bass, yeah. been They've never been to the sound system. That's right, that's right. So they don't feel it. You know, it's the first experience for them and the looks on their faces, they love it. The looks on their faces, not even that, the fact that they come in and they see the amount of boxes that we've got yeah. and they're like how the hell did you get those in there yeah, do you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah, it's yeah. a lot of boxes it's, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of work how, much, how many people do you need to kind of Seven, cut usually about at least 14 lifters yeah 15 really 14, 14 guys, people yeah because yeah, it's, it's a lot it of boxes it takes a little while oh, right, I mean, it's right. growing all the time right now we're up to 50 base bins <laughs> Which is a lot so of what are you going things. for the festivals next year? Yeah, yeah, we're doing Gate Crasher. Oh, really? Yeah? Mm. yeah oh, okay. Should, that'd be brilliant, man. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. can't wait because that's why we built this set. We want to get this thing outside. Even if it's in the tent, it's still got that yeah, outside but, feel about it. Mm. And it's still a festival. And but I just are you can't scared wait. of the um, the environmental health thing, which we, we've been suffering like with many festivals for many years? I'm just going to smash it same way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning it up. It sounds like someone's going to get tied up around the back or something. So, like, tell me more about March the 2nd. Yeah, right. It was the first drum and bass sound clash in the whole world. Yeah. Basically, it's going to be Valve Sound System versus Trouble and Vinyl Sound System. I wasn't and you're on my side. Well, so I'm nice. About, mate, that goes without saying, because I, <laughs> I know where the bass is at. You're in the yeah. army yeah. now. So it's like, we're doing that at the Rex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, at the Rex, yeah. Over there in Stratford. Yeah. So, like, can you give us like, a round-up of some of the DJs that have been there? Well, it'll be you, obviously Frost. me, Lemon D, Frost. Yeah. And um, hype and Randall on on, on, on the your, valve corner. Yeah, yeah. And on the trouble and vinyl corner, you got Brocky, Bad Company, um, Bad Company, Andy C, um, Loxy, Digital. Yeah, yeah, Do you know yeah. What I'm saying? One, yeah. Oh, and you said that was a sound clash, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also in, apparently it's also in the boxing ring. We're getting a boxing ring. The MCs are going to be kind of like in the referee. Oh, uh, right. So he's going yeah, real yeah, old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, like, yeah. are you scared Give of like? Thing, um, yeah. It's just like a bit of fun in our eyes. It's a bit of fun, that's all it is. You, you have to remember, like, some of the general public tend to take those things a little bit too seriously. You know yeah. what, Groove? It's going to be take it fun. seriously, but we're, it's a bit of fun. Yeah. Do yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? Who's got their most bass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All that and, sort of yeah, thing. And I suppose, like, in a set of you can just really let go. Yeah, we're well. going to lash it. We're going to hurt. It's yeah. an experience. We'll brew some ribs in there. It's an experience, man. <laughs> so, are you like planning to do this like more often, or it's just like a one? I want to do this. I want to do big things every three months. You know, for us to build the system to this sort of level, it's like 90k is going to be. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which is we ain't heard 90k since like 1989, basically. A full proper 90k, not just energy. A 90K, 100k yeah. turbo sound, yeah, basically. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. We're taking it back to them days again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, yeah. bad, and heavy. Boy, you're gonna get a lot of complaints. But anyway, <laughs> 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 let's talk about the next tune from Dillinger. What's it called? Well, um, well, yeah, Bebop. It's a VIP mix of um, Human Bebop. Oh, but from the LP, yeah? Yeah, which is going to be coming out on the Valve album. Okay, then. We're just locked on. Along with Groove Rider, Lemon D, and the mighty Dillinger.
you just locked on, it's Groove Rider here on Radio 1 with my special guest tonight, Dillinger alongside Lemon D. So we talked about the sound system, talked about the new LP. Let's find out what's kind of inside your head. Like, what kind of producers are doing it for you? I'm not just talking about in the like drum and bass kind of sense, but yeah. like, you know, yeah, globally. Yeah. I love, right now, I'm listening to like a lot of hip hop, or should I say rap or whatever, but I like, when I listen to it, I don't really kind of listen to the artists, I listen to the producers. Yeah. So I follow like high tech, yeah. those kind of guys, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, and Premiere, because they're kind of taking from what we're doing and slipping it back in their thing and like masking it up. Yeah, yeah. But it's coming through more and even uh, like um, Pete Rock Pete Rock yeah even for me Rock. even he's doing it now for me it's the same old thing again Noriega <laughs> <laughs> grimy God's favourite I love it <laughs> <laughs> you're Nori man yeah because uh, I think Adam would God's favourite Nori and um, is he a CNN they go under innit yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah 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 he was doing some beats for them recently man I like Maxwell's album though, you know. I haven't, I haven't heard that. I'm feeling that. So I haven't heard that many. I'm listened. feeling yeah, Maxwell's yeah, right album now. right now. Really, yeah? Yeah. yeah. The last yeah, time I got an album was... Damn. I'm one of them funny people. I'll buy any. I'll buy an album and just listen to... You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the last time I fucked... I don't know, Bilal? Hmm? Last, Bilal? He's a singer. And he's saying... Yeah, Bilal, like, that little thing he's yeah, done with... Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, uh, yeah you know the thing. That Bilal. thing's nasty. He's a naughty singer. He's a naughty singer, trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a little pimp yeah. kind of tune. Yeah. Oh, okay. But his yeah. album's yeah. a bit... You just got to listen... You know what I mean? Like, I, I go out for them type of guys. Guys that are coming up through and they're singing... They're just guesting on people's albums. Yeah, But yeah. they do their own albums. Yeah. And I'll just check them out because... You know, there's always flavours on there and you yeah, can always yeah. draw that influence into your own... rumoured to be doing a tune with De La Soul. Is that still going down? No, nah, well, not at the moment. But I did some stuff with um, uh, Michelle Gale. Oh, yeah. My album. And, uh, Ooh, Hattie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Hattie, yeah. And I was going to bring the tune down and play it, but you it's, have, it's man, you I'm going to bring it next time. I heard about that tune as it goes. No, no, no. Oh, it's, it's rough. It's rough. Really? Yeah, yeah. It is good. It's yeah, good. Yeah, because she's, she's been kind of. Because she, she's done a thing with Lifford as well, not too That's long right, ago. I did some stuff with Lifford as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's on my, it's on my Mac, and it's, it's a little bit computer failure, as we all know. Yeah, you yeah. You can't get that shit out. Oh, can't get it out of the out of the Mac, but I'll get it, you know. And then um, I did something with uh, Blaze, Alexander Hope. Oh, yeah. I mean, the album stuff's there. But, you know, I'll just keep it there because at the end of the day, it doesn't really age. Do you yeah, get what I'm saying? The stuff right, that I kind of do. Really, really, yeah, really, yeah. Really, I mean, really. I don't really make that kind of music. That it throws a flavour in it. You're not really, really making the two-week tunes for your that's LP. That's what I'm saying, yeah. So, I mean, I play tunes like, and it's like three or four years old. Yeah, group, man, yeah, yeah. And it still sounds good. Cool. Yeah, yeah, of course. So I'll keep it there. And when it comes to the point where I'm going to release it, I'll either do a new mix. Modernise it slightly. Yeah, and yeah, that's the one. Yeah, you just got to update it. Modernise it slightly because it's just there. And I did a little thing with Beck as well. I did you? Yeah, but... It was off his own album. Yeah. And I remixed it years ago, but he gave me like... The rights to use the yeah, vocals. The, yeah, the privilege to use it. And yeah. I just hold it down. I'm not yeah. ready to rush out and... Yeah. I think it's better to build a situation. And then when everyone's like kind of on it, but they're closing, then you say, well, this is what well, I'm not- As I was saying to a lot of... As, as I was saying to like my A&R man like the other day, man, don't worry about it, man, because like within the next six months will be the period to be le- releasing albums Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because there was a little lull in the album kind of thing for us, at, you know what I mean? Like, within the last year and all yeah. that. But now the music's so, like, people are back on it again and the Gary String has died down because of what's going on. Mm. But I think you know after I mean? that's more kind of, you got to remember that our stuff, it gives inspiration to a lot of people from all types of music. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. The only thing that kind of messes us up only thing I'd say is the speed but apart from that yeah. the, the actual in, you know the, yeah but you say that but if it wasn't the speed it wouldn't be what it is true but you know it I mean? would yeah, be right. oh yeah to an extent right. it wouldn't yeah. be what it is but and that's the bottom line at the yeah. end of the day for me anyway because yeah. don't get me wrong I thought about yeah we we'll go back in some old school kind of vibes and that's cool mm. but it's not what this is do you yeah, know what I'm saying? We've yeah. moved on from that, yeah, and that is why the speed is what the speed is. Yeah. Do you get yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. we've moved on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? And we can yeah. go back, but when you go back, they'll they start calling it um, break old school That's break right. beats yeah, and, yeah, that yeah. and that and that. You so that. we've moved on. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, you know what I'm on. saying? We've moved on. We can right. do that anytime we're ready to do that. Because as I say, if you can make a half decent drum and bass tune, you can make anything. That's and that's right. the bottom line. That's right. Right. You can make a half tune, you can make music. That's what I'm trying to say. You can make a half decent drum and bass tune. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? You've got the skills to make anything else. That's right. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, we're going to play a tune from Lemon D. What's this, Lemon, man? Right. Now, you asked about the album, right? This track was going to go on my album originally. Mm. But it still is, but there's another mix. This tune's going to be uh, released on uh, V Recordings. Okay, then. But the actual... Um, 
other mix is going to be released on my album. Okay, then. What's it called? Get On Down. Here's another exclusive. Cruise Rider World Exclusive. Just locked on. It's the zone here on Radio One, operating between 97 and 99 FM. We're just taking over things. It's Groove Rider alongside Lemon D and the Mighty Dillinger. We're just tracking. 
So what? This is uh, due to be released on V Records, yeah? Yeah. Let's get down, yeah? Yeah. Mm, the original, yeah. The original's on there for my album. Oh, okay then. So what, is the original like a completely different thing or? No, but it's it's beaty. You know, you, know, you can never tell. You know what I mean? You might like it, you might not like it. Yeah. But it's the same kind of flavour, but different breaks. So you know. So like, have you two ever like collaborated on like one tune? No, and if not, why not? We will do. We'll do. Just wait for it, wait for it to blow up when when it's, <laughs> when it's worth a lot of dough, ain't it? <laughs> we we'll skip right now, Groove. <laughs> you keep putting all our money into business, man. <laughs> What's his base bins, isn't it? All the money's in base bins, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, two boxes. Oh, I bought 1221s the other day, that's how it's going on, do you know? It's at it. Way it's a ton. At it. Way a ton. At it. At it. So, like, um, I've got to say uh, congratulations, sir, on the new arrival. Thank you. Hope everything goes well. Hope you get a bit of sleep in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's not yeah. going to be easy for the next six no, months. No, no, man. It's a but, new you know, experience, but you know what? It just got Pass but, my book yeah. guards on to the missus. Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot, man. At the end of the day, it's like, if I could. All the stresses, no one's really realised how much stress me and Carl have been through over yeah. the last kind of, kind of couple of years, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at one point, I got there was one naughty stage groove when we were making the boxes. We just thought we couldn't, we ran out of money basically, and we thought we were going to make the boxes, and I videoed it. We videoed it. <laughs> we made the boxes by hand. Hand. <laughs> hand. Five Jigsaws, days. Jigsaws, drill, screws, glue, <laughs> and paint. Five days of no sleep. And I had to video it. I had my mask on, spraying them afterwards, everything. <laughs> so when you look at that fly and you see them boxes on the top, there was hot We made days. those. My hands never recovered. Well, you've got to put your heart into this thing course, here, man. Oh, you know what I mean? You've gosh. got to put your heart into this thing or else you're not going to get anything out. No, so I'm no. glad that you made your boxes yourself because you know your system now. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You yeah. properly I mean, built still, that it, system. It's still growing. You know it's still mean? growing, yeah. We're, we're, we're still always we're, like, you know, modifying and stuff. But So what, do you have to hire a lock-up or something for it? No, we bought a unit. Oh, you installed the whole system in there. Yeah, we installed the system in there. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Yeah, we're building really? a base, yeah. So, you know, uh, you know, when you want to come round, it's like... Yeah, yeah, it's going to be... Come down, you can choose, so you, a nice little office there. Oh, so what, is it all operational in the in the unit as well, or is it just like, just parked up? What do you mean? Like, oh, what is uh, that? No, no, this is too stored now. We can't have that <laughs> set up, man. <laughs> I mean, 80 boxes Boy, I tell you what, though, piling up. Yeah. You say that, but I used to come down to your house and listen to what sort of sound <laughs> level that you was dealing with in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you shouldn't yeah, really yeah. say that, man, because you, you like, monitor loud, man. No, no, I work on like a little six-inch driver now. I oh, really, yeah? Six-inch, yeah. you know what I mean? Speakers. I'm not on them 15-inch ones anymore. <laughs> right, 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 right. Save my ears. Yeah. I don't want to be deaf, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, I must admit, one time I did video him and we got the system. And before we built in the system, we had like it was just an empty space 2,000 square foot yeah. and uh, it was the night before we did our first event at Fabric yeah. so Carl tested the system we put the decks outside of the unit mm. imagine like a big warehouse the decks are outside just got their feedback and we have all, to set them up yeah, outside and, it was ridiculous half, in there only half the set was inside the, the unit yeah. and all you could hear Groove I must admit it must have been about 400 metres down the road was <laughs> I came down and the roof nearly caved in on the whole thing yeah, all the, dust, the bolts were falling out of the roof the bolts were falling out <laughs> That's, that's got to be really uncomfortable. No, it's that. naughty. It's absolutely naughty. <laughs> and then one time he phoned me up, one time Carl phoned me and goes, oh, you know what? I've done something naughty. And what he done, <laughs> he set up all the bass, just all the bass, yeah? Right, all the bass, no topping, no nothing, and turned it up. And it's just, I could even I could hear yeah, yeah, yeah shake the whole thing. Then got complaints. Let us through the door next day. Yeah, like the units next door are saying like, yeah, all our toiletries are falling off the shelves. And <laughs> what's, what did you do last night? Do you <laughs> mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. But so like. We're gonna hit, we're gonna get the full explosion March the second. Yeah, mm. it's gonna be all good. It's gonna be nasty in there. Man. Be, uh, second of March. Second of March. Stratford Rex. Valve London. recordings. Valve sound system versus, versus Trouble, Trouble on, on vinyl. All right, we got it. So like, we're gonna play out with the last one. So what's this track? Yeah, it's, uh, it's called Grimy and it's on V Recordings. And oh, this is the big big thing yeah, at the moment. Nasty yeah, nasty thing. Yeah, yeah, Lashing yeah. Not the place. So like, what's what's the vibe behind this tune, man? You just like go in the studio and just let, lash out. Yeah, I just thought like you know I've got to do a little, a little jump up grimy sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, mean? yeah. It's just that yeah. vibe. Just went yeah, in yeah. there and rolled it out. Because this right now is kind of one of the dance floor smashes yeah. right now. That's right, man. So like, I've got to say thanks for you two for coming in, man, and like you know representing once again. Lemon, it's good to see you in for the mm. first time. I ain't seen you for a little while. Last time we saw each other was no, we see each other at the Valve, isn't it? That, well, I don't really see you, do I? Do you know what I mean? You, you know that I'm tired. That and all that. <laughs> you know, so you keep telling me about six clock starts and all that been up for 24 hours That's and all that saying, man. do you know what I mean but it's like good to it, see yeah, you man yeah, 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 do you know what I mean say hello to the missus as I say before man grimey, congrats grimey. on the little one man yeah baby Mars yeah yeah really good luck it. with the LP well, we're going to see you hopefully in the you know next session. I'll see you. I'll see you March the second, mate. Yeah, that's it. That's all. When right, we're going to, I've got some little things for you. You know, when you're in, 
We, I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's going to be some little baseline smashes. Make sure the imagine. set is round for me when I get in there because I've got, be some, round, ba- man. I've got round some B-line things. I've got some B-line things. Roaring, Bruce, nasty and you know slimy what? and grimy. It's all about the B-line because we brought the B-line back and that's all you Big, need to bad know. bad bass. And you know it's I'm saying? time to get grimy. <laughs> all you need to know is you can go back in your studio now and you can go down to 30 hertz because we brought the bass line back. Right. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. <laughs> right? Time to get grimy. <laughs> 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 Later. Later. Coming on V Records. That's Dillinger. Time to get grimy. Great to have those two guys in with us tonight. Well, well appreciated. But they still owe me two mixes. (laughs) Now we're kind of running out of time tonight. Got about 10 minutes left. So it's about that time we give away the old school jungle LPs. How many have we got, Andy? Right, we're giving away five old school jungle LPs. It features 40 drum and bass classics that will remind you of uh, raving back in the day. It's a double CD mixed by the Shy FX and features tracks from uh, DJ Zinc, such as Super Sharp Shooter, The Chopper from Ray Keith, The Lighter by DJ Session, you know, just to name a few. If you want to, um, if you bought the uh, vinyl at the time and thought that your favourite Jungle Chats would last forever, here's the album to bring them back to you. All you have to do to win one of these CDs is tell us who is Sound of the Future, the artist Sound of the Future. So all you got to do, just tell me that. Put pen to paper, old school Jungle competition. 
care of Groove Rider Radio 1 FM London W1N 4DJ or email your answers to groovrider at bbc.co.uk if you can tell me who Sound of the Future is it's one of the seminal artists on this circuit at the moment I don't know why I keep using the word seminal <laughs> just somebody that's stuck with me today it's kind of hot though <laughs> All right, we're running out of time, so we're going to knock the six of the best on the head. See Andy reaching for a bit of paper, but you can keep your paid hands to yourself, sir. So, like, this is going to be the last one? Right, we're going to break out with something from Drum Sound and Bassline Smith. Fabio's in the chair between two and four next week. Liquid Funk all the way through till four. I'll be back in a fortnight. Until then, adios.